Szeretettel köszöntelek titeket innen a Magyar Szerv határól, Röszke mellől, ahonnan tovább indulunk majd Szófiába a Nemzetközi Ifjúsági Konferenciára, amit a Bolgár Testvérszervezetünk a Vázrásdánya Ifjúsági Szervezete tart meg. Tartsatok velünk! Ennek a konferenciának a fő témája a neoliberalizmus agresszív térnyerése, valamint a demográfiai probléma Európa szerte. Pontosan ezért nem egy, nem két másik nemzetközi ifjúsági szervezet is részt vesz majd Németországtól az Egyesült Államokig, Csehországtól Bulgáriáig, valamint Olaszországtól Lengyelországig. Dear presidents, vice presidents, dear representatives of parties and youth organizations, fellow nationalists, I came from a country that has seen and experienced all the faces of communism. Our fathers and grandfathers, after the fall of communism in Europe, by not forgetting the past, had every reason to hope for a better future. But today, unfortunately, we know that they were mistaken. In different form, but with the same slogan on their banners, our enemies are once again storming our defenses. Behind them stands the fierce and now increasingly certain to be pedophile force of international left liberal financiers who do not want peace until they have achieved their certain goal, the destruction of a cultured and normal world. They have nothing but their numerical superiority, their stupid and insane destructive ideology and their evil desire for destruction behind them which lurks the chaos of the collapse of civilized humanity. Confronting this seemingly all-powerful coalition of devastating satanic force involves superhuman burdens and tests, but it's not dishonorable, quite the opposite. To take on the inevitable battle with courage, to fight in the name of divine providence, to trust in it and its ultimate victory, to face the honorable battle with a clear heart and a clear soul, to fulfill our historic missions at all costs, never wavering, even in the most difficult hours, is the most noble thing we can do for our nations and for Europe. Lately, the LGBTQ ETC lobby has appeared in schools and increasingly aggressively claiming space for itself, using the propaganda to influence our young people. We believe that the future of the Hungarians in the 21st century can only be secured by strengthening the traditional family values and therefore urge this and the transmission of information on a childbearing and marriage as full as possible. Its insidiousness and lack of restraint knows no boundaries. It tries to infiltrate the most vulnerable and the youngest as a form of sensitization and quote-unquote teaching in order to radically erode the very core of her thinking. Our mission is to sweep them away forever and drive them back where they came from, the very depths of hell. Strengthening the childbearing and marriage as fully as possible indeed, because in his annual assessment speech, Viktor Orban once again painted an idyllic picture of Hungary and Hungarians that is far from reality. Contrary to Viktor Orbán's idyllic image, the reality is that last year was one of the worst years even in terms of demographic data. We never before so few children born in Hungary as last year's. The Hungarian population is decreasing rapidly throughout the Carpathian Basin and more and more people emigrating. The most serious problem of our country is the catastrophic democratic situation. Without changing it, we will not only become a minority in our own country, but the entire social, social security system and public finances are threatened with collapse. Today, in Hungary, the average number of children born in families is barely more than one, which means the Hungarian population is almost halving per generation. Instead of importing guest workers and replacing the population, we need democratic turnarounds. It is the responsibility, not only the Hungarians, but all, that all of Europe as a whole, to integrate the tra traditional family mo model into modern world, into an anti-family society, since in the name of the progress, there are in fact attacks on the families, ideologies have emerged which present childbearing as a problem to be avoided. This was expressed by your party's vice president, Elud Novak, who launched a campaign entitled Fatherhood is the most masculine thing, the blessing of a child, and the motherhood is the greatest glory of a woman. Throughout the country, after donating one year's income as a member of parliament to missions to public benefit, mainly the founding of a mother's home, but also the campaign underlining the importance of having children for individuals, individuals and national economy. Our aim is to open this year's mother's home to provide emergency shelter for pregnant Hungarian women 
and women with young children in crisis to prevent abortions and to save Hungarian lives. We are living in an age of militant elitism, which means that every activist must see himself as a role model. The example we must set is that of a courage. But let us not fool ourselves, courage is not a disposable concept. Even less so if it has to be carried collectively by a whole group. In this respect, only a solid and genuine chain of solidarity and mutual militant support can awaken courage in all of us. The courage that is so necessary and without which any political project is doomed to fail. This task may seem like a bridge to be built, but it is one of the most important cornerstones and what is most uh, very difficult task because it awakens in us the impulses of our behavior that has endless capitalism and neoliberalism that are consuming us is trying to erode. Impulses that encourages us to see ourselves as humble people dedicated to a life sacrificing and sharing. It is the glorification of an ethic of virtues that breaks completely with neoliberal values. In the upcoming years, we must demonstrate an unwavering and resolute devotion to our principles that must challenge the very best of what is written on the pages of human history. It is time to put the sovereignty of our nations on an unshakable and solid basis, to build a solid coffin for the enemies of our nations, for the anti-life scum ideologies, and to get rid of the cancer of neoliberalism forever. The guidance of the Divine God leads the way. Let us march toward the Holy Grail of true victory. Bravo. Itt vagyunk Sipkán, a bolgár függetlenség legfontosabb történelmi helyszínén, ahol március 3-án százezrek ünneplik a bolgár függetlenséget az oszmán uralom alól. Mi magyarok pontosan tudjuk csak úgy, mint a bolgárok, hogy milyen sebeket tud ejteni a nemzet testén és a nemzet életében az oszmán elnyomás.